Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do a furry but not fuzzy leopard print. So first you want to just start off with a nude color, at least that's what I'm using. Um, and you can use whatever color that you want to, just make sure that it's lighter than your fuzz. And by fuzz I mean flocking powder. So we're now going to take a color and mix that with a little bit of clear gel. Just make sure that you don't skimp on it, you don't want a really thin mixture like this. You want it to be pretty thick, so don't be afraid to add in a lot of fur. But don't be too crazy because um, we're actually just going to use a very small amount of this mixture so don't go wasting a bunch of your product unless you could actually bottle this up for later so i apply a you know slightly generous amount but i'm actually going to just keep brushing it until all of that flocking powder slash hair lays down to a texture that i find to be you know hair like and after you cure that layer, then you can go in and draw in your leopard print. So I'm taking a black art gel, and one thing that you will notice is that I'm not putting on this really thin layer. I'm really bulking it up. So you actually want to add quite a bit of product to your brush and use a lot of pressure when you're um, drawing on the nail because you've got a texture there. So one, you're drawing over not a smooth surface, so you really need to compensate for that, if that makes sense. And the second reason is actually because we want to use that excess gel to our advantage. So I'm now going to take a very thin liner brush and you want to drag some of that product out until you create like little hair strokes. Does that make any sense? So use very light pressure when you do this because you do want the lines to stay very thin. And honestly you could stop at just the leopard print but doing this extra step it really makes the print look a little bit more textured and more furry and hair like so I highly recommend it highly you know what I'm so not deleting that because it's late <laughs> and this is this is how I really talk y'all I trip over my words all the time so the last step is to just apply your top coat and when you do this you actually want to make sure that you're applying a nice thick layer you don't want to use a really thin top coat because you need to even out all those layers so you guys can see I had a really even shine across the surface and then I kind of battled myself whether or not I wanted this nail to be matte or shiny so I went right in the middle in true Gemini style and I did half and half and I still can't figure out which side I like more so let me know in the comments which side you prefer matte or shiny and that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I promise I'm gonna start uploading more frequently so my next tutorial is going to be um, the gel overlay video I know you guys have been requesting it so it's finally coming and a new series you're just gonna have to wait to see it.